during our noon show. Today we're talking about hot spots. Uh -huh. It has nothing to do <laughs> with summer heat. So, yeah. Dr. Norman, what are hot spots? Well, hot spots are red, uh, acutely inflamed, sometimes infected, moist areas. Um, they occur someplace the dog can get to them. That's why they're hot spots. They can lick or chew on them. So they're on the head or the hip the feet, the legs, some place where the dog can pay attention to them. Now, is this more common with dogs than cats? It really is. Okay. You do see some in cats, but we see them more dramatically, more, mostly because they can do a little more damage themselves. So what actually causes them? Well, there's a number of causes. It could be, it can start out just as a scratch. It could be a scratch, so it itches, so the dog licks it, and when it itches and you scratch it, it itches some more, so it produces histamine, so they itch and scratch, and they get into this cycle, so instead of having a little tiny scratch or a wound, or something, all of a sudden they got a big, red, moist, nasty area. And how do you actually treat something like that? You really need to know the cause. It can be just a scratch or a bump, mm -hmm. in which case you have to treat the infection and the inflammation. It can be due to allergic dogs get hot spots. That's people say my dogs get hot spots when they're allergic to a flea bite or an allergen hits right there and they lick and chew and lick and chew and then they get a hot spot. It can be, you know, it can be the whole body. You can see one spot and the problem is that's why you need to go to your veterinarian because mm -hmm. if you start looking through the fur all of a sudden there's scabs and things all over the place. So the most important thing about a hot spot is get to the veterinarian early. If you see one spot, you need to get there because it'll just grow and get worse. Because by the time you get to the veterinarian and it's icky and red and infected, we don't even know what the cause is. So there can be a number of causes. The most important thing is treat it early because if you don't, it's going to get red and nasty and then at that point you just got to try to get the infection cleared up and then hopefully eventually you find the cause of hot spot and you can treat it whether it's just whether it's a tumor or a bump or a scratch or something you can treat the initial cause get there early your dog's going to be a lot more comfortable, <laughs> comfortable too and speaking of dogs we have one up for available adoption for yeah, today yeah we have a dog and a cat mm -hmm. and we have a cat first i believe and the cat's name is kingsley and kingsley is a is a six-year-old male neutered cat and he would be better at home without kids at this time, but he's a very sedate cat. He does what most cats do, we lay around, um, <laughs> likes to play. So if you can give Kingsley home. And then here's our dog, Zelda. She's a two-year-old spate female. She also would probably do better, at least with older kids. So if you can give Zelda or Kingsley a home, call the Humane Society of Indianapolis. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Norman. Appreciate it. Thank you.